Brisbane, we're down by the river. We've just gotten off the boat and uh, we're about to go for a bike ride. Yeah, we're going to some markets that we've been told about. Yeah. But uh, Brisbane have got this free city cycle thing, or well, kind of free. You just tap your card and take a bike. How sick is that? So yeah. We're going bike riding. <laughs> <laughs> The Brisbane City Council installed 150 bike stands with 2,000 bikes across Brisbane in an attempt to reduce traffic congestion and parking pressure in the city. Yep, yeah, here's your codes. So I need to press one. Yo, she can't ride a bike with those legs. Too hairy. You look good on a bike. I feel good. We signed up online for a casual pass, which is $5 per month unlimited use. All you have to do is make sure you return the bike within 30 minutes to any station. So for longer trips, you just drop a bike off and pick another one up. Our next stop was at the Davies Park Markets in West End of Brisbane. And I love the way you speak my name. Here you can buy beautiful jewellery, handmade writing books, cakes and sweets, fruit and vegetables and foods from all around the world. You can also sit under the beautiful fig trees and watch live acoustic music. vegetarian thing, rice. What's the verdict? Delish. <laughs> so that's the Davies Markets. We've got uh, some bread and some fruit. Had a big feed. Feeling content. Ready. We're going to try to find a bike stand and try to ride our big bellies home. Mm -hmm. It's a hot day today. Meeting up with our friends from Say No More in the Brisbane River, over a couple of cheeky frothies, we planned our Christmas adventure. Uh, we're just taking off, heading down the Brisbane River to go to Stradbroke Island, I'm pretty sure. Things change, but uh, we'll see how we go. So excited to get out of the city. Can't wait, can't wait. So good. Um, it's uh, the day before Christmas, so... Christmas boogie! Just 
got overtaken by a dude in a kayak. at Morton Island. Uh, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. Uh, we just tried to raft up with putting our boats together but uh, a, a ferry came through and uh, the wash of the ferry made us a little bit nervous about it so we thought mm, might as well just uh, play it cool and be safe and uh, just anchor separately. So they're over there. We spent Christmas with our friends eating and drinking way too much, playing drinking games and also jamming out with the Didge. <laughs> Once we had recovered from the festivities, we went diving on the Tangaluma shipwrecks off of Morton Island. 17 vessels were deliberately sunken in a line between 1964 and 1984 to form a break wall for small boats. It has become a favourite spot for families to visit over summer with the wrecks being a favourable dive spot. feet again, we set some sails and headed to Amity Point off of Stradbroke Island. Pocahontas, 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 Pocahontas. I never wear my hair like this and today I'm feeling Pocahontas. Yay! We've got a nice big sandbar here to take Marley for a run. We might head over there now and uh, let him stretch his legs. It's a bit of a challenging getting here. There's lots of sandbanks all through Morton Island here. And between Morton Island and Stratty, there's sandbanks galore. But we managed to scrape on through. Yeah. It's a bit hard anchoring at Amity. It's deep water with a real strong tidal current from because we're right near the mouth, near the headland of the uh, of Stratty. So yeah, it's about 12 meters. So. Yeah, 12 meters and the current's running at least four knots. We struggled to make any distance putting back into it. Had to whip the sails out to let it make any ground, but yeah, we found it a bit shallower, a bit further up. We're in seven meters now and right next to the sandbank. Yeah, it's not the no current, current isn't strong through here, so happy days. Cruising. <laughs> down here on near to where we anchored just the other side of the marine park it's nice big shallow water big sandbar a bit weedy there's razor fish and if there's ever a good food to drink beer with it's pickled razor fish
a fish. So this is my fourth razorie of opening in my whole entire life and so far I've had three octopus jump out at me and then I actually saw what a razor fish looks like and it's the creepiest, disgustingest looking thing like a full on alien and I'm just a little bit nervous now about what I'm going to find in these uh, razor fish shells. So we'll see how we go. What you do is you get your knife and I haven't actually been shown how to do this. I made up as I went along and you stick it in the side and you crack it open. Ow! Use the back. Here's the catch from today. All the hearts cleaned out of the razor fish. So we're going to pick the little bad boys. Pretty simple. Got the trusty vinegar, bit of white wine, some chili flakes. Be good to have fresh chili, but that's not really a luxury we have on Nanji. And pepper. Be good to use some peppercorns, but once again. You can only find the old ground up stuff in the cupboard here and a bit of salt as well. Ooh. That's pretty much it. We'll just chuck them all in there, mix it together and slosh it and Bob's your uncle. So we use plenty of vinegar because that's the that's the winner really amongst all this. So you've got I don't know. Generous amount. Hmm, one for the captain, one for the pickle, just gives it a bit of flavour, the ultimate sugar, we've only got raw sugar here, once again Nanji is a little bit limited, Billy Flakes. Don't mind a bit of chilli, so these guys can go a little bit on the warmer side. Salt helps with the pickling as well, so it's not a bad thing getting the salt in there. Good to get a fair few peppercorns in there, but since we don't have that, I'm just going to chuck a fair bit of pepper in. Because we like a bit of flavour in this, in the old pickle. And more chilli flakes. Woo! Smells like a bit's going on in there. So for anyone out there that has never had a uh, razor fish before, can you explain what it tastes like? Uh, like little slices of heaven. Oh, it's like a scallop, I suppose. If you've had scallops. But these are better than scallops. <laughs> They're, I know they're in a little classification of their own. Basically, they just succulent little tender morsels that taste so good when you drink beer. Let that brew for 24 hours and we'll give it a test run tomorrow night. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching another episode of Sailing Nanji Legends. Sailing Nanji. Yeah. yeah, straight up, I want to give a big shout out to the new patrons for getting on board, coming to join the Sailing Nanji Froth family. Yeah, we've got uh, Rob, Mark, SV12, Ron, James, and Bill. Welcome aboard. Uh, make sure to have a look around the uh, Sailing Nanji Patreon page, there's exclusive stuff that you guys can check out. Yeah, and we're currently working on the website. We've, uh, we've got the patron-only treasure chest. So head on over to the website and check it out. Jump on board, join the Sailing Nanji family, and 
see what sort of treasure you can find. We're going to do the segment of the showstopper where we answer questions from our Patreons. Um, Kath has sent this one through. How is your ocean crossing preparation going? Well, Kath, it is going slowly. <laughs> But it is happening, so that's all that matters. We've uh, we've just completed an offshore cruising course on the weekend, which was great. We've stuffed our heads full of knowledge and yeah. basically doubled our list. Yeah, so we found out lots of stuff that we need to do before we leave and uh, lots of other things that we need to get. So we thought we were making progress and now it's just gone. The list has just gotten bigger. So, it's skyrocketed. But, but yeah, all we can do is keep plugging away and we're still scheduled and we've still got the goal of leaving the Down Under Rally at the 11th of May, so... Yeah, and that's subject to weather, so hopefully we have a, like, a week or two of bad weather that we can't leave and so we can just, just do get a, a sneaky a... extra two weeks in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, we're, we're definitely feeling the pressure and we're under the pump, but we're working hard and we, uh, we've got this goal and we're striving at it, so... Yep. Bring it on. Do. Bring it on. Loving Can't it. Can't wait. <laughs> of course, yeah, we want to say thanks to Spinnaker. They're really getting on board these days and helping us out. And so uh, yep. with their assistance, we're going to smash it and get across to the Pacific. So, um, If you want to get a Spinnaker watch, you can use the code FR30 in the checkout on their website. I'll put that down below. And um, you'll get 30% off at the checkout. So that's really good. Yeah. Love it. Uh, thanks to the music artists, of course, Mr. Mitch King and Old Man Friday. Some nice cranking tunes pumping out through this video. So yep. thanks, guys. Check them out. Links will be in the description. I think, uh, yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe. Um, we've got some big stuff coming up and uh, you don't want to miss it. So, yeah. Thanks, Cheers. guys. <laughs> I don't know how to end it. <laughs> Just nod. Come in.